My name's Andrew Waters. Um, I'm from Kazuka Renshin Kai Karate Club. Um, basically, we are based in Streatham Leisure Centre, Ison's Leisure Centre in Streatham, South London. Uh, we've been here for approximately two years now. Um, previously, we was at the old leisure centre, which they knocked down and built this new centre here now, which we, we've continued training here. Um, we train once a week here. We also train on a Friday night down at um, St Margaret's Church, which is in, also in Strip. And we also have another class at Oval on a Wednesday night. So it's three nights a week. And um, yeah, we, we're, we're doing we're doing good things. You know, what I mean, we're getting we're gearing a lot towards the, the, the young, the young, youngers, youngers coming through. When we decided to do the 10k again, I, uh, I got on the phone, obviously, to Leon Waters and said, uh, "What do you think about coming back?" And tried to persuade him to come back, but uh, that that was a no. He's, he's on to you know on on to different things now, but. His family karate club still runs, and uh, with his father and his uncles and his cousins. So there's a new generation of Walters coming through, and uh, I've come tonight to, to Streatham, to Streatham Pool, to have a look at uh, some of the young talent coming through. Uh, not only the his cousins what are going to compete in the 10k, but the club is unbelievable. There's like there's 60 kids training right now, and. Uh, for those, but you can hear them, like for, for those people what say karate is dead, I mean, this is really inspirational for me to come along and see this amount of kids training in this facility. And uh, I think it's a, a great sign of things to come in the future, especially with the Olympics, etc. But uh, all the current crop of fighters what are out there, the names what everyone knows, we know we'll always try and come out with something new for the 10K. And there's going to be a, a couple of young and up-and-coming Walters on your case. Um, my name is Devonte Walters. Um, I'm part of Kazuki Wrench and Kai Karate Club. I'm 21 years old. I've been doing karate since six years old. That's what I know it's in the family. Karate is what we've been doing for years when we was young. And I feel like, like you said, it's just... It's, it's the only way that we know in it. So. There's never been a pressure from anyone like my dad, uncles, Leo, no one. I, I'm doing this for myself. Obviously, Leo's done what he's done, mm. and you know, there's big respect for Leon, but I feel like it's time for, for me to step up and show what I can do. It's not saying that I'm putting pressure on myself, but it's like, okay, this is what it is. And you prove to everyone that I can do this, you know what I mean? I prove to myself that I'm capable of doing it, and I know that I'm capable of doing it. I just gotta keep on training, I'll, I'll get where I need to be. I honestly believe that. And I feel like it's a good platform, the 10K, to get myself out there and get myself more recognised yeah. in the England setup, in the world, going to the Premier Leagues, everywhere. It's just a good way to get my name out there, definitely. I'm not Leon, I'm different. I'm with the and I'm going to show to everyone that, yeah, I'm not Leon, but I can do my thing. I'll prove to everyone that, yeah, man, I'm not no one to, to mess around with. I'm not saying I'm a big bad wolf, but I'm saying like, I can, I can hold my own and I'm going to prove to everyone that yeah, the one Waters is someone to, to be recognised. Watch the movement, guys. So nobody's running. Do you understand? They're actually fighting. Go on, go a bit more aggressive, guys. Go a bit more aggressive. I feel like that you know these guys are up and coming and uh, pose a good threat for the the guys that are currently the big hitters. Mm. You know, so um, if they've put their mind to it, they they give most guys a run for their money. So I think that you know they they stand a good chance of being able to walk away with it. The main thing you'll look out for them is a rawness. Mm. You understand? They're not going to fall in line. They're not going to. You know, get involved in pecking orders and say you, you don't, you're not going to get this business where these guys here are not going to look at you and think, oh well, you're such and such big name and everything. Like that. So therefore, I need to, I need to fall in line. You won't get that from these guys here. Do you understand? There won't be no, oh, let me recognise that. You know, let me know my place. There won't be that. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be raw. And whatever ha ha outcome it comes out, but it's going to be raw and it's going to be aggressive and <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> to say the least. So I'm Chandler Waters, um, and I'm 19. My cousin is Leon Waters, um, former world 
heavyweight champ and um, also he's won the 10k before. Um, obviously he's had a huge influence on my family just because it sort of showed us it can be done sort of. I don't want to I don't want to just go there and make our numbers. I want to do well myself and so I'm trying to make my own name as well like aside from my cousin obviously his name's going to be there forever but I want to make my own name like I want people to know who I am sort of thing so there's a lot of pressure but I don't know we're going to have to shoulder it. The only people I know are definitely in the 10k are Jamal and Jordan Thompson. Obviously, Jordan's just won the world, and Jamal's obviously a great fighter as well. So everyone's already looking out for them. So also they're from families of karate as well. So it's just like me, but they've had more success. So I know from training with them and stuff that they're going to be on it for this, especially with the whole money and everything, and you know, it's that extra push. So it's really good. I think it's going to have a huge impact. I really do. And I think this was the perfect time. Now that it's gotten into the Olympics, it's definitely the perfect time to bring back and I think it really could be a movement for Kuwait to bring more people in and yeah it could be a could be a big thing. Really I'm just gonna go out there and do all I can. I'm hoping to, to surprise people really because obviously it's like you said I'm unknown I've just got my, my last name so I'm really just going to go out there and surprise people like I've got quite a long range and I've got quite good speed so hope to go out there and make it awkward and surprise people and yeah, pick the points and hopefully I'll leave them a 10 check. Superb setting as you said and they're the first up as well do you think that has an effect or is that a good thing you're the first up you get out there and get it done get out there and get it done yeah and do you know what is great seeing so many of the the old fighters and people that oh superb takedown takedown and a punch that'd be a three points listen to the crowd as well Tiki. they're an appreciative crowd as well they love that 10k was was special it was it was a, it's a special event a special event and i'm so glad that it's actually coming back i've lined up alongside five and six time world champions and i'm in the same line as them and we're going out to fight you know against france in major finals and stuff like that so pressure wise that i don't think it was far different from any of those settings so I, you know i, I was more you know, more accustomed to it you know, you go out, you do your best, you fight as hard as you can, and hopefully you come up with a win. The 10K Karate Clash returns on the 16th of the 4th, 17. The Troxy, London. 32 Elite, one night only. 10K, winner takes all. Tickets available now from combatandstrength.com.